the condition shown in the following figure is associated with now if we see uh, this particular figure here you will be seeing at the corner of mouth there is some arithmetic lesion at the same time you will be able to appreciate that this particular area okay there is loss of papillae actually and basically this is the area where filiform papillae are found so loss of filiform papillae is being seen here and that particular uh, signifies that there is atrophy okay atrophy of filiform papillae okay now uh, if we just try to understand the option here so vitamin b12 deficiency yes that is associated with atrophy of filiform papillae okay so that leads to glossitis of course and at the same time there will be angular stomatitis or we call it angular chelitis then we have the option 2 that is vitamin b1 deficiency now this vitamin b1 deficiency that is known as the thymine deficiency also that is associated with a disease known as beriberi then we have vitamin b6 deficiency now this b6 deficiency is basically associated with anemia that shows the neurological symptoms along with neurological symptoms it is generally seen in the patient on the anti tubercular therapy as well okay so that is a frequently asked questions in exam as well now uh, i'll be just uh, giving an overview of the vitamin b12 that is also known as the cobalamin and that is responsible for catalyzing some number of reaction so first thing that it catalyzes is going to be homocysteine in the presence of b12 is change into methionine methionine the second thing is ribonucleotide reductase is converted into dna synthase and this also forms an integral part of methyl manolyl coenzyme a mutase methyl manolyl it is malonyl coenzyme a mutase okay And now uh, there is a glycoprotein there is a glycoprotein which is also known as the cases intrinsic factor okay so there is an intrinsic factor which is basically biochemically a glycoprotein and that is important for the absorption of vitamin b12 and that's why we call vitamin b12 as extrinsic factor as well extrinsic factor as well now what happens uh, there is a disease uh, which is autoimmune disease and that is known as pernicious anemia in which this particular vitamin is not able to be absorbed by the cells and this particular uh, cases intrinsic factor is not produced actually from the parietal cells right and that's why the patient gets the pernicious anemia so this is a very brief account of the vitamin b12 uh, which we have to just understand uh, superficially because a lot of this is uh, dealt in the oral pathology and medicine which is an integral part of our syllabus so we'll be discussing uh, more details there but yes if we go back to the question we have already solved this question vitamin b12 deficiency so i'll just walk you through the explanation so the figure in the question shows angular colitis or the angular stomatitis along with atrophic glossitis right and that is the manifestation of vitamin B12 deficiency, hence the answer is option 1.